What is happening guys, Skyway here, and we are back at the Old King's Antechamber, ready to continue on. So, from this way, um, that is where we picked up the tome, we're going to go down this path. Now you can go either um, straight here, or you can make a right. I would suggest turning to the right, because we will be able to pick up an ember. So we're going to run and snag that. Uh, now this area will loop around. Just feel free to... Yeah, you poisoning piece of garbage. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Um, this area swings around. I would suggest killing all the enemies you encounter here. Just because the last thing you want is something chasing you into the next section. Go over this way. And we're going to run into a lot of those enemies that we uh, we saw previously. This is actually that area where we failed our jump and fell down that hole. So right there, that's where we would have come out of if we took the straight path. And we'll continue this on over into the next room. There's going to be a couple more enemies like the ones we just fought. Um, and then over here we have a fire statue, so we'll take him out first. Let our stamina get back. I don't even know what to call these things, but they remind me of dogs. They're like the dog variant of the crap we've been fighting. Um, another statue right here. Despite knowing it was there, it still got me. Jesus. Took a lot more damage than I would have liked to right there. Stop doing that. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, before we head on back into the next area, you'll notice a wall right here in front of us. Oh, not that wall. It's uh, this wall. There we go. Okay. Ooh, Black Knight avoiding the stagger. Look at you. How impressive. We are just taking hit after hit right now. Fortunately enough, we're going to end up hitting the bonfire very shortly, so you can be a little, um, little don't worry about being zealous in your Estus usage. And you were just not being staggered right now, and he ended up killing us. You know what, I think it may be time to switch back to a parry shield doing so well with the strong shield, but now that I'm running a, uh, a heavier weapon, going for the block and attack strategy really isn't working out all that well, so we're actually going to switch up. We'll pull on out the parry shield so that we can uh, take on these enemies a little bit easier. And we're going to actually just travel over to the Demon Ruins bonfire. We were directly below that um, when we just died, so we're going to run on over and if you remember, we had that hole that we dropped down, the one I was talking about. We're going to actually drop right down there. We'll re-kill the enemies in that room and then make our way back over to the Black Knight as we want to take him out and obtain the Black Knight sword. So we're just going to run straight on down. Gonna cut to the right as soon as we get in here. Do a little bob and weave to help avoid uh, those fireballs that are coming towards us. Now the enemies up here will uh, the will chase for a little bit. Once you get over to the hole, I don't believe they'll chase anymore. I may be mistaken, but if we can get over to that hole, we'll. Uh, if they decide to chase at that point, well then they decide to chase at that point. They are just not having my uh, my dodging today. Um, we're going to circle around. This is back into the room. Over 
here. This is the room where we fought the uh, dog type variant as I described them. And we are almost back over to where we lost our souls. Here's our souls. And we're just going to chill back here for a second and see if the Black Knight will do us the kindness of taking these guys all out for us. Yes, he will. Thank you, Mr. Black Knight. I will top on off. There's the fairy we wanted. Alright, with him down, we can freely claim our Black Knight sword. Uh, for those curious, 20 and 18. Not a bad great sword choice. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, so now we are going to proceed into this room. Now, uh, similar to before, uh, this room involves a lot of those guys that have the the fire, so we are going to switch back to that fire shield. Uh, Dragon Crest. And we want to get straight towards the back corner of the room. Um, See, there's quite a few of these fire guys. We're going to try and get to the one in the back and take him out first. You can kind of see the, the effects of the fireball that I was discussing earlier. How it'll just freely fire at you. Um, so right there we have a undead bone shard. Oh, God. Such an annoying room to come into. Mainly because the uh, those fireballs that keep firing at you, they make it exceedingly difficult. We're going to actually have to roll a bit. Oh. My dodges are on point today, it seems. Nope. Oh, they could take me out here. So you can't actually knock these out. Um, because most of them are elevated, it doesn't work out that well. I swear, this room is just here to piss people off, I think. So you know what? Instead, we're going to screw these guys. We're just going to do what we came in here to do, and that is grab the undead bone shard. So we're going to run, grab that. And get over into here without dying to those guys. This is, wait a minute, I thought that was our wall. Where's our wall? Never mind, here we go. This is where we want to go. Jesus. God, you guys are such assholes. Um, so drop down here, kill the rat. Bunch of little rats are going to come up behind you. Hopefully you do not get killed by them. I'm actually a little too low to even bother messing with them right now. Just gonna, you know what? We're just gonna go up for uh, safe measures. We're gonna go up and reach the bonfire. Oh, nope, never mind. Looks like the rats are gonna insist on coming after me, so we're gonna have to take them out. We'll just be uh, good with our shield use. I hate fighting with health this low using a heavier weapon. Okay, so the rats are down, except for one, two. Alright, here's the soul. Um, now, before we leave, this is right where we dropped down to kill the, uh, the mama rat. Right here, there's an illusion. We can grab this chest right now if we want. And there's another illusion. So we're going to be heading down that way in a second. But before we do that, uh, there's some other items we want to grab that are up top. Or I shouldn't say up top. They're, well, some of them are up top uh, in this direction right here. But before we tackle it on, we're going to have to fill up our Estus. So we're going to have to jump this lava pit. And this is where things are going to get tricky. A uh, good chance of me actually dying here, but we'll see. Might be able to make it to the bonfire. We'll find out in a second. It 
looks like I will. A beautiful little run right there. Alright, so from here we're going to head right back down to where those rats were, now that we have all of our Estus. Um, if you do have the attunement for it, um, which I... Let me see, I might be able to do this with the ring. I don't know if I have the stats to cast it. But you may remember that we picked up Flash Sweat earlier. Hopefully... We can put it on. 6-6. Six, six. Yes, we can. Wonderful. Um, so put on Flash Sweat. You're going to want that on for what we're going to be doing next. Equip that Pyromancy Flame. If you don't remember where we got it from, simply talk to the uh, the Pyromancer back at Firelink Shrine, and you'll get a hold of that. So we're going to just run. Loop around this. Drop down. You'll probably take a Fireball to the back here. Yep. There it is. Um, cut out through there. Nope, not that one. We want to go straight to the end of the path, do a little bob and weave. There we go. Alright, and now we're good. Um, so those enemies sh shouldn't follow us down here. Emphasis on shouldn't. Head on into this way. There's going to be a couple rats we got to kill. With them down, we can hit the wall. Now this was the hole from earlier that you may remember. That's where we dropped down to get the main rat. Uh, first thing we want to do, run over here. Going to get another pyromancy tome. Head on down this way. And here is where things get tricky, because now we have a lava run. Um, so there's no items on that side. There are two items right there in front of us, though. So uh, we have Toxic Mist and a White Hair Talisman in this area. Now what I would suggest doing, um, just go through your gear. Whatever you have on that has the highest fire defense, go ahead and put that on now. You can see there are some of those little uh, lava guys we ran into earlier. I'm just going to scroll through quickly. Put on my pretty dress. I have a feeling fire bombers won't do anything to them, but yeah, I didn't think they would. Um, let me actually try a... Do I have any urns? No, I do not. We're going to kill these guys before we uh, proceed. Jumping attacks. Always get the job done. Alright, and one last piece of gear. I think that 8.1 might be the highest. Okay, so now we have as much fire defense as possible. We obviously look really weird. Um, next, pop flash sweat. And then run. Heal up. Run. Heal up. Heal up. Some lava guys. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Oh, can we make it? Heal up. Oh, we didn't make it all the way. So, no problem if you die. Um, I don't think I've actually had a character where I've been able to make this run at this level, get out there, grab both items, and get back. But either way, it's not going to be hard to grab them now. Uh, we'll just run right on back down there, run out, grab our souls, pop our Estus, and be on our way. So, like I said, don't worry about dying. It's, you know, you're in a giant pool of lava. Kind of hard not to die. Um, obviously, if you have your Vigor at 40, uh, this might be a little bit easier of a run for you. Kind of visibly see the difference in the uh, the damage we took right there. But don't worry about the rats this time. We're just going to run straight on in and uh, head back to our souls. Rats aren't really the type of enemy who are very effective at chasing you down and killing you. So you might want to pop an ember just to get that extra health. 
now it's wrong. So uh, some alternative tactics you could do here, uh, if you are running a faith build, miracles are obviously great here to use. Um, alternatively, one thing you could do if you want to risk it, oh, oh go away rats, um, I'll show you it in just a second here. We're going we're gonna to have to head back to the bonfire now that we used all of our Estus to get past the lava. But you guys may remember a hole we jumped through right here. Now, um, silly rat, uh, if you drop down this hole and you go to the right, you can get to the items. I would recommend just running and grabbing them and, you know, just sacrificing the death if you need to, only because um, just trying to do a run for them that way, uh, if you're not prepared or it's your first time jumping down the lava, it's going to be a lot easier to get killed. And um, all in all, even though it's just drop down and go to the right, I just feel it's a little bit trickier because you're going to drop and if you mess up your orientation at all and end up, you know, wasting even a second running around in the lava, that can be the difference between life and death anyway. So, um, going the other path, you at least know exactly where you're going and you won't run into that concern. And so we have another section coming up with lava, so we're going to keep on our, our goofy gear for now. I really can't stand this shirt though. Let's see, what's the... That's a minor enough fire difference that I can deal with it. We're going to put on the pyromancy gear. Um, so we have a couple of the enemies that you may remember uh, previously, the Basilisks, the ones that can cause curse. Um, so they're going to be coming up in the next section. And then on top of that, you may remember the uh, Knight Torsig that we fought. And we're actually going to have a run-in with him. And that run-in is going to get us the Boom Ultra Greatsword that I've been talking about for a while now. So... There is a lava area around him. I don't feel like risking that with the jump. We're just going to take the cut through here. Um, if you're comfortable fighting him with the lighter gear on, feel free to. Uh, that being said, he'll obviously have the potential to uh, two-shot you. So do keep that in mind. But if you're, if you're careful with your play, you should be fine. So we're going to kill Mama Rat. Uh. Then we're going to go on through. We'll drop down and get our Ezolith staff. And now we have the Basilisks. So there's no items right in this little area. Feel free to just run past the Basilisks. They're not a giant threat, obviously. Um, and that upper path you see right there is where we're going to be heading. But first, we're going to make a left and make our way on down. Making sure the Basilisks did not follow. They have not. All right, and get ready for a battle. Um, so we're gonna, no, if I can take that off, I'm gonna, oh, he's already coming. So what I would suggest, similar to how we fought him before, um, as long as he is one-handing it, oh God, uh, as long as he's one-handing it, that's gonna be your best bet. When he is two-handing it, he has kind of like instant kill potential just about, so. You know, this this is going to be tricky. Just keep that in mind. Uh, if you can get him with backstabs, that's probably your best bet. You can see right there. Even though he has the shield, uh, pretty much any time you try to approach to get the... Uh, the kick, he usually ends up um, just switching into an attack and it can hurt quite a bit. So don't rely too much on the kick right there. Ooh, man. God, that thing is scary. As you can say, we're taking a very conservative approach to him here. Um, only going in when we know we can get our backstab. Probably the safest way to fight him, especially when he does the delay swings like that. Because taking a, a hit like that, like the one I just did, that's actually quite risky. 
when he does the stomp, that's the weapon art. Your best bet is to just avoid it. Uh, do be cautious, too, because when he stomps, there's a uh, quite a bit of a delay before that swing's going to actually happen. Sorosig. Sorosig? I don't know. Either way, he is down. We now have our Fuum Ultra. Super heavy, super awesome. Uh, we also picked up the Black Iron Great Shield as well. Really nice shield there. And now we have an additional lava run. Um, so from here, we have a Sacred Flame, which is a Pyromancy to the left. We have an Ember over to the right. Uh, similar to before, cast Flash Sweat. We're going to actually uh, minimize our weight as much as possible here. Uh, yeah. And I think that ember is just going to... We're just going to leave that behind. Because going for that ember would mean dying. And uh, losing the ember effect I have on right now. So... That ember is getting left in the dust. Um, either way, at this point, we are done with the lava runs, so feel free to uh, switch back over to whatever set you want. Where's my Fallen at? There we go. Now, I've, even though we just picked up the Fugs, we're not going to be using it just yet. Uh, with the weight of that, as you can see, even without my shield, I need one more point, and what to kind of aim for uh, looking at your stats as you can see, my uh, vitality is at 24, so getting to 25 vitality will allow you to use your Fugs along with the Fallen Knight. Really nice armor set, the one we've been running up until now. Obviously, you can't also run a shield with that, um, but you're not going to really need one. That sword has the, the power for us to, to basically punch through um, anything, really. So... At this point, we're also going to toss back on um, what we have um, before. Head on Lloyd's. Lloyd's doesn't help me out too much right now. Uh, neither will Flynn, though. There's really no good ring to help me out at this point. Um, I guess we'll put on a blue tear stone. That's fine. Um, the ring we really want, which is going to be Ring of Favor, is still a ways in. So, uh, from here, let's see. We're going to head on up. We'll have a Crestfallen Soul, and then we have a Black Knight to take down. So, if you're low, it may be worthwhile for you to uh, go back and hit a bonfire. This next area can be a little bit tricky. Um, we're going to try and make it through regardless. I'm about to get hit, aren't I? Oh, man. Almost got cursed. Yeah. This area is not going to be fun, considering we are out of Estus. Oh. And we're down. Did not expect that one Basilisk to follow us over here, considering he didn't follow us to, uh, to Torsig. So that's a little random. And actually, I think what we're going to do... Um, considering we are pretty close to our weight. Take that off, and we'll pop off that ring. Um, so even though it requires 50 strength, an important thing is if you two-hand it, uh, you can actually still use it fine without the, uh, the detriment to the stats. Um, when you two-hand a weapon, it effectively doubles your strength, you know? If you have 25 strength with two hands, you now have 50 strength. So keep that in mind. Uh, either way, we are going to go up to 50 strength for this anyway, just because with the scaling on this, um, we want to be able to hit as hard as possible with it. We are just getting touched by these guys. All right, that is not the right damage. This might actually be bugged right now, because typically you can two-hand it. Um, and it even says that in the item description, so I'm thinking there may be a bug. Uh, looking at it, you can see 
and able to use... Well, that's weird. Usually, there's a, there's a prompt that says, uh, unable to use effectively unless two-handed, so... They might have, uh... They might have actually changed how two-handing works, or as it used to be double, they might have nerfed that back a bit. So either way, it looks like we can't use the fugs just yet. We're gonna have to continue to get our strength up a bit more. But I am quite curious as to what they changed to that, though, because our strength is at 30. So even with a little... Uh, modifier, we should be fine to use it. Um, so we're gonna wait for these guys. Don't want to deal with them again. And we'll put on our blue tear stone since we don't meet the rate requirements or the strength requirements for fugs anyway. Um, and now we're gonna take on the knight. Grab our souls. I like how he just completely ignored the fact that he was being hit by the Great Machete. Crestfallen, and we're actually going to wrap this one up right here since we are already at 27 minutes. So, um, taking this path up will allow us to disable the arbalist. So we're going to knock out that, and then following the arbalist, there are um, all the things we're going to collect in the actual smoldering lake. So, with that in mind, thanks for coming on by, and we will see you guys in the next episode as we wrap up the smoldering lake area.